Hello everyone. Today we're operating the Universal Studios Islands of Adventure on the hunt for some magical British fare in Hogsmeade. And great news, we are taking you guys along for the ride. Join us as we step into the legendary Three Broomsticks, a quick service gem that immerses us in the world of Harry Potter and the wizarding community. But what's on the menu? Are the flavors as enchanting as the atmosphere? Here you can enjoy classic dishes like fish and chips, shepherd's pie, and beef pasties, or even indulge in the famed Greek feast. So grab your wands and your appetites and join us to see if this is the best choice for your next magical adventure. There is a significant amount of outdoor seating available if you are interested and you do get a pretty amazing view of Velocicoaster. So in the same way that you order over at the Leaky Cauldron here, you're going to go ahead and place your mobile order before you get to the restaurant. Once you're here, they'll seat you at a table and then you go in and you add in the table number that you're at and you say I'm here and they bring the food out. If you don't have your order already placed, they typically will not seat you. So go ahead and do that when you're in line for something, waiting to check out. At any point in time, you can go ahead and put together the mobile order and you're not gonna click that you're here until you're actually at your table and they will seat you at the door, which is great. We are actually over in the boar's head section of the restaurant and it connects to the three broomsticks, which is fantastic. We've got the little cauldron thing here. It's really, really beautiful. I think that this one has it really, truly feels like you're in like a pub. Yeah. It's really, really cool. All right. So if you're here for Hog's Head, that's where you can get some good pub fare, or I guess not fare, but drinks. Um, they have a whole variety of draft beer, uh, some bass, some Boddington, Strongbow, Stella, quite a variety, maybe about 10 or 12. Um, and then also butterbeer options, hot butterbeer, Butterbeer or frozen butterbeer, um, all non-alcoholic on that end. Uh, but looks like they, if you want to come in and uh, wet your whistle, uh, there's a good place there. They got a bit of a line outside, so it's uh, you have to. It goes out the back. Yeah, it goes the out the back of the not restaurant, the not the front. Let me try this thing. Okay. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> hey, who's driving? This is Manny's not in charge of the game. <laughs> so yeah, as Manny was saying, when you come to the Hogshead, the line does not go out the front door. So you're going to enter through the front door of the Hogshead and you can walk all the way back out the back door and that's where the line is. Unless you're very lucky and you get here sometime and there's no line over there, which I've never seen. <laughs> Many, many minutes later. I don't know how we got so lucky, but uh, somehow there is no line at the hog's head right this moment. That's like, mark the day, mark the time. It just happened. I think it's totally worth noting too, that if you come here, if you sit in the hog's head side, it's a little bit louder because you've got everyone who's coming in and out for the bar. But if you sit just on the other side, which is really just this little wall that we're, this little stove thing separating it, I can hear through here that every once in a, once in a while, there's like a little crescendo of the Harry Potter theme music playing, and it's really cool. Like that, that would give me all the feels for sure. Like that's an added touch. So I would recommend sitting on that side for sure. So they do have Strongbow. I could be wrong, but they have Strongbow here. I know that. If they have the fire whiskey here, I gotta tell you, I am not a fireball girl, but if you get the um, alcoholic apple pie, it's absolutely delicious. They do strongbow, a shot of that fire whiskey, a little cinnamon on top, the whole thing is over ice. It is delicious, and it's not like too much, you know? It's a really nice cocktail to be able to get if you're not into beer. I smell beer. Oh no, <laughs> beautiful. So this is what I was talking about. This is the alcoholic apple pie and it really is delicious. We make a similar one at home called a poison apple, um, but that is gonna be a really good, not sweet cider um, mixed with uh, Tito's vodka and it's delicious as well. But this I like because of that splash of cinnamon and the ice, it's just fresh, it's delicious. The flavors are there. I love it, it's a great drink. So here we go with the rig. 
ribs look really good. I don't see additional sauce, but maybe they don't need wow. it. Wow. That just tore right out. Yep. That just came right out. Oh, look at that. All that meat. All right. Let's see what we got. Mm. Wow. Those are really, really good. Very tender. You can taste the smoke and a little bit of barbecue. They don't need more sauce. It doesn't come with more, but they don't need more sauce. Very good flavor. Um, that's a good rib. And it's like just a few of them. So. What is there, four? I think three. Okay, so, three ribs and then also uh, the nice, chicken. Yeah, nice little sampling of both. Uh, you can get one or the other, or a combo with both. So. You went with the combo. I went with the combo. Yeah. Smart move. Smart move. Yeah, well done. Wow, and I gotta say, I'm surprised because if you would have told me that ribs could be good in a quick service yeah. setting, I would have thought they would have been really, really dry yeah. and not. It looked like it was a little tough to tear. Those are a win. The ribs, all the rib parts. Okay, I snuck one of these, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. And I gotta tell you, like, winner. These are so awesome. They're basically red potatoes with onions in them, spices and herbs. Really, really good, delicious. Mm. Mm. Those are awesome. Perfect texture. Just only as firm as you want them to be. They're not super mushy, they're not stiff. You got a light, a nice little firmness to them that you want to want to have in a well cooked potato. So these were, these are it. I'm just so excited to see that you can order them as a side, so you didn't have to get like the big meat platter to be able to get no. those. I would order them every time. I will crave them and come here and get them because those were unbelievably good, and they taste so homemade. They do not taste like mass batch made, you know what I mean? They taste like you just made them at home in your skillet. You know what they taste like? What? It reminds me of those really, really good Boston Market red potatoes that they would do. I know. Oh, I don't remember those. Yeah, but that's what it reminds me of. Oh, okay. It's very similar. Like texture, yeah. and it's very savory and herbal. Mm -hmm. um, I found them to be, they reminded me of Thanksgiving. Buttery, yeah. yeah, or like Sunday dinner, if you remember those days. Supper, if you will. Finish Sunday dinner. The Muppets are coming on. <laughs> the Muppets are going to start. Let's go. All right. So as we know, I get the combo with the ribs and then the rotisserie chicken. So this is looks like a wing and a breast piece, which I'm a little hesitant about. I'm more of a dark meat thigh leg person, uh, just because a lot of times I find the breast gets dried out, the white meat gets dried out, but. We'll give it a whirl. Let's see, let's see what we got. Let's get a good sample piece here. Wow. Dang, you Dang. are heading into that. Mm. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. It's dry. It's dry. It does it have good flavor? It's just dry. So your vote would be just get the rib platter because the no. the ribs were good and the, the dark meat. there was no way so you mobile order and we looked to see he actually checked to see if there's a way to ask for dark meat and there wasn't so you kind of stuck with what you get um but the potatoes and the ribs were excellent i gotta imagine the corn's gonna be good but no on the chicken the chicken's a no. hard no hard no are you even gonna finish it no oh Oh well, it happens. Oh, the ribs were a winner. And the potatoes are the star of the day. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Let me try the wing. Also a no? No. Oh no! Oh well. Wah, 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 wah. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying the rest. <laughs> So I got the mushroom pie. So this is gonna be a vegetarian based pie. It comes with a side salad. And this one did not give me an option of what dressing I wanted to try, but it did come with, it appears to be a vinaigrette. So I'm excited to check that out. But it also, there's also uh, Well, that, that 
when I ordered the pasties, those actually gave me a choice of dressing for my salad. But it's also a much larger salad. Like this is kind of a salad dish. This is a side salad, if that makes sense. So let's yeah. tear into this and see what it looks like. Okay. Oh, it's super crispy. Like super, super crisp crust. Whoa. Oh, Alright, so it's sitting on my plate sideways. Give me two. Wow, look at that. Piping hot. Very hot. Really beautiful. Smells good too. Yeah, it smells very herbal. Let me clean up my mess and then I'll share with you my thoughts. Alright, I got the table cleaned up, but you know. So really excited. This like it's you, I don't know if you can hear it, it's so crisp. Really, really nice. You can see it. But it kind of bobbles out of your bowl. You got to kind of be careful. But I'm yep, excited I'm that good. the crust is so crispy because to me that change of texture is key to like a good pie, a good pot pie type situation. And it's just a crust topping. It's not all the way through. So you basically have the crust sitting on top of your dish um, of this sort of like a mushroom stew type of situation. I would so, be very careful. It looks extremely hot. Does look very hot. I'm gonna change my bite size a little. Bit. Oh wow! Steaming hot. Look at that. I tell you what, this needs though. needs a spoon. A fork, I'm never going to be able to eat all this. You can see that it's very soupy. Yeah, look at that. It's very soupy. Like, I'm not going to be able to eat um, very much of it with just this fork. Huh, well, how's the flavor? It's really nice. It's very savory, but it's light. It doesn't feel super heavy. It doesn't have sort of that... Um, thickness that a stew would have, it's thinner, so it, ha it has like a nice broth to it that's really pipe, you can feel that there's a lot of veggies in the flavoring of the broth, which I really like. It's not too salty, but it's not dull either. But I gotta tell you, that crust, that crispy, crispy pie crust is everything. The combination in the bite is great. This for me is a win. Really, really love this. I don't always like to have meat um, when we're like walking around all day. I just don't I don't know why, it just makes me feel heavy and weighed down. So a dish like this, to be able to come over and get this with a little side salad, it's perfect. So next up here, I have what you can tell is a much fuller salad. Okay, it's basically the same salad, but this one has croutons. But nonetheless, this one, they did allow me to choose a dressing, and it came out. It is one of these deals. I don't know. It's fine. I guess it's predictable. And for people with allergies, this is helpful because it is well labeled. But I don't know. It's okay. Um, and here are the pasties. You get three of them. They're adorable. They are smaller than the picture in the menu, <laughs> like when you look online. However, to me, they're perfect because this is like a salad dish that has them as, a, as you know, an accompaniment. So I'm going to give these guys a try. All right, so first I just want to kind of tear into oh, it. okay. You know, it's, it's an empanada. <laughs> it's an empanada. But it's a pasty. It smells good. It has a good earthy scent to it, like a beef? good party. Yeah, they're beef. I can see a little bit of veggies in there, but yeah, it's pretty much all beef. Okay. Do they need ketchup? I mean, no, but no, they have a nice... I mean, look, they would be good with ketchup if you like ketchup. They're not dry. The pie crust is perfect. It's very good. Like really, really surprisingly good. And this has been sitting. I'm surprised that it's not soggy. The bottom is still good. And there's a good amount of filling. It goes all the way through. Like the bite I just had was the end that I pulled off and I had a good amount of meat. It has a nice little savory flavor for it. Little kids would love this. This is like the easiest thing ever. Because it basically just tastes like a funny safe shaped little burger, you know? But the meat is, um, it's not solid like a burger, so just to be clear. It's a ground beef, like a taco meat. Yeah, it's like a taco meat. It's very good. I think it's really tasty. I think it could be good if you wanted to add ketchup or something, like the, for the kids or whatever. 
but it's great on its own. Really nice. It's, it's a very subtle flavor. It's not very salty. It's not very, you know, there's not a one herb that's coming across super strong. It's just a good treat, you know. I mean, I'm not going to come here for these, but I think they're good. Okay, so with my pasties, I did try one with ketchup. It's a little bit like a pie crust enclosed meatloaf if you will when you add ketchup to it but it's like perfect for kids right the salad was the same as the other it's just an iceberg lettuce i like the croutons i mean i don't have anything against that it's nothing to write home about it's very like just you know whatever side salad type situation i don't really know have any comments on that besides that everything was fresh so that was good but the pasties themselves i thought were really tasty i loved that mushroom um pie that i got that was for me the winner of the day and Manny's potatoes oh my god those potatoes I wish they had a window outside you know how they have that butterbeer cart out there they need a cart out there for those potatoes I would be stopping in there like a little cone filled with just those potatoes and onions man because that was everything so it's important to note too that they do have trash cans here so you do clear your own plate I think that's really important sometimes you just don't know right I mean they see you but then you order online and I don't know it's always different everywhere you go right but there are trash cans around so you can go ahead and clear your plates and make it a little bit easier on the team members